But um, my, my interest um, on this walk is definitely to help explain the history of the area um, and the history that you can see and some of which you can't see. Um, this river, the West River, as you've, some of you have seen since its uh, lower part, has been changed um, over the years. So its course has been moved. It's had uh, other pat different kinds of uses in the past, like industrial uses. And even residences used to be very close to the, to the river. Um, its earliest use for, for people that came here as part of New Haven Colony was um, as an industrial site. So there were mills along this river, and one of the earlier mills uh, was right here at this corner, um, on the corner of, of Valley and Blake Street. And they were able to use the river power by creating mill races, which are canals. And they would take the canal because they could control the level of the water, and then they would, it would turn a wheel, which would then cause, like, say, grinding. You know, it would grind a uh, corn, for example. Um, the first grist mill in New Haven was located on Beaver Ponds, which is just up, well, it's, it meets up with a stream that we crossed on the other side of this housing project, and, and it becomes a tunnel, and that goes to Beaver Ponds. So there's a bunch of streams that meet up right there, and this whole site here, which you can see a smokestack, um, was also industrial. This was the Grist manufacturing at one time, um, and it's, it's river course here changed where you see the, the bend in the river here. It used to bend in to that site and then, and then go straight down. So the river has definitely changed courses uh, for industry, whether it's to make room or to make uh, mill races um, and ponds and things like that. Um, so behind me, this was Geometric Tool Company. Um, most of what you see was built after 1900, but like I said, there used to be mills here. And some of the mills that were here were paper mills. They made more paper in Westville than any other part of Connecticut, for sure. Um, there were three paper mills at one time, and um, we'll be heading upstream where we'll do some more history, where we'll see sites, the ruins of old paper mills. Kind of cool. Um, this building here made um, parts for machines. That's what they did. They were making stuff here and here into the 80s. I remember going to school at West Hills, and we would see people in this factory making stuff. And I thought that was cool, and I thought I wanted to work at a factory. <laughs> but it's now it's now it's open. There's a lot of it's released. Um, there's a school there. Hey, that's my sister. And, my <laughs> <laughs> um, and so it's a it's a it's a really interesting river. But you're going to see little things like walls along the way. If you do have questions um, about the history, you might think I know. Um, I'll tell you if I do know. Um, but most of the stuff that you see along the river has something to do with the industry. So we'll see a dam as we go up as well. There's a, an old dam that is sort of, uh, you know, only part of it is left. A few stones are left. Um, any questions right now before we continue? Yes. Um, what was the name of the company that made the machine parts? That made the which parts? Machine parts? That was Geometric Tool Geometric Company. Tool. And the, this company here was called the Greist Manufacturing. They were the largest manufacturer of sewing machine attachments. Things that would go on your your singer, your other kind, you know, whatever kind of sewing machine you had. Um, and then later, this was called New Haven Manufacturing. The buildings that are left from the old factory date to after 1900 again. And the part of that chimney stack, uh, the chimney stack goes down. Part of that building relates to an even older building from the 1870s when it was a tool bit factory making parts for tools and stuff like that. So. There was a lot of different companies that were here, all of which were owned by the Beecher family. The Beechers, um, like Beecher School, um, that was Ebenezer Beecher was the father. Uh, excuse me, he was the he was the son, one of the sons. There was L. Wheeler Beecher, which is the school's named after on Blake Street. He was um, in the, on the school board, and he was a big industrialist as well. Ebenezer was the guy who invented the match machine. In fact, their match company, which was called the Diamond Match Company, was founded here in Westville. Was located at this site at one time. That's so. What's that? That's still going. Diamond matches, or we can buy them today. So that name started here um, with the Beecher Company. It was originally called the Beecher Match Company. They also made uh, baskets because they were making boxes that matches went into. They eventually had a, they also had a basket factory, and they were making baskets and selling them. Kind of interesting. That was all. That was all on this site. Um, this check. This tower behind me was for the boiler house for this factory. They this. The building was tore down when this, this site was redeveloped, but it used to have a small building that was attached to this, this tower. And they left the tower. They moved, they tore everything else. Um, so, any, yeah. Your question? You mentioned the dam. Yeah. Are you the dam tour guy? 
I am your damn tour guide. <laughs> All right. Um, and a pond. And so that was where they welled the water up so that they could divert some of the water into a mill race. And that mill race went into another pond, which was called a holding pond. And that pond then went to another mill race that went to the mill. So they had a series of, of water works that allowed control of the water, whether it was like dry, a dry spell, a drought, or whether there was a big flood, they could always close the, the mill or the dam and, and divert the water down the river here. But it was a way of doing that because with, with the, the way that this river flooded every spring, basically, um, they couldn't, you know, it would ruin a factory. So you had to have control and the mill race was the way to do it. So yeah, the dam, if you walk by, you'll just see a couple of stones. And a lot of these stones here are leftovers from that dam. They've been tossed by weather. Um, so just, yeah, that's, that's this site here. I don't, you know, on 1779, July 5th, that they came to Westville. They were diverted from going, they came up from West Haven and they came up what we now know as Forest Road. And they were trying to cross over on, on Congress Ave, um, right over there, but that the, we, we blew up the bridge. Um, so they couldn't do it. So then they, they kept marching up to Westville and they, they already knew they were gonna come to Westville because they knew there were gunpowder here and they believed that they could, they could get our gunpowder. Well, they sent some of the German mercenaries, they were called Hessians, mm. uh, about 10 of them into the woods to find it. And all of them got captured. They went into the wrong mill. They went into a paper mill and that's where we captured them. It was one of our few successes here in New Haven. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the British captured New Haven after a, a lengthy battle um, on Goff Street. And uh, so a lot of interesting things happened that day. British stayed for two, two days and then they got drunk on our rum and they left. <laughs> That's, I, I love that story. Yeah. We, they stole all of our rum, but they didn't burn the city, luckily. Um, so yeah, that's, there's a lot of history here. I could go on all day, but I'm not. The base and above, it's the largest state park in Connecticut. That was a, a city park until 83, correct? correct? Um, the city just couldn't handle the maintenance of it anymore, so they gave it up to the DEP at the time. And the DEP handles the, the face and above. So we've done actually some, see the graffiti up there? It's been tagged again. We've actually gone up there. My supervisor is a cl an avid climber, and he takes groups up there to fix that once a year. So it needs to be fixed again. Well, it's appreciated. <laughs> yeah. No, he does some, like, some kind of washes and washes. Yeah, yeah it's just something students are...